The vagus nerve activity and atrial fibrillation connection, what it means for you, created by Upalife. The vagus nerve is the 10th cranial nerve in the body. Of all cranial nerves, this nerve is the longest and most complex. It runs from the brain through the face and thorax down to the abdomen. The vagus nerve has sensory and motor functions. Overall, the vagus nerve represents the primary component of the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps regulate various bodily functions ranging from mood control to immune response, digestion, and heart rate. It does so by stimulating muscles in the heart, which is one of several motor functions of the vagus nerve. The most significant function of the vagus nerve is afferent, bringing information of the inner organs such as the heart, gut, liver, and lungs to the brain. The parasympathetic innervation dilates blood vessels and helps lower the heart rate. While sympathetic innervation constricts blood vessels and increases heart rate, Basically, stimulation of the vagus nerve, as a part of the parasympathetic nervous system, could help balance heart rate and therefore aid the management of atrial fibrillation, also called AF. While excessive stimulation of the vagus nerve could trigger AF, it is generally regarded as a potential therapeutic approach toward the management of this cardiovascular problem. Everything in our body is connected, and the nerve that goes from your brain down to the abdomen is not an exception. Its function and factors affecting it could also play a role in triggering a faster heart rate associated with AF. The connection between the vagus nerve and AF deserves thorough research. At this point, the quantity of studies is insufficient for such an important subject. If you have AF, you may want to consider consulting your doctor about this subject. Your doctor may carry out some tests to investigate the functionality of the vagus nerve and whether it could aggravate your condition. If so, stimulation could help dilate blood vessels, normalize blood flow, and improve heart rate. After all, an unusual heart rate is one of the multiple symptoms of damage to the vagus nerve. This only confirms the connection between this nerve and heart rhythm. The process of vagus nerve stimulation includes placing a device in the body that relies on electric impulses to stimulate the nerve. The doctor usually places this device under the skin of the chest, where a wire connects the device with the vagus nerve. Upon the activation, the device sends signals through the vagus nerve straight to the brainstem from where the information is sent to the brain. It's useful to mention that sometimes vagus nerve overeats due to triggers such as exposure to extreme heat, fear of bodily harm, and others. Conclusion the vagus nerve is the longest and most complicated of all 12 cranial nerves in the body. Evidence shows it can influence heart function, especially heart rate. Stimulation of the vagus nerve could aid the management of cardiovascular diseases including AF. However, it's important to carry out further research on this subject and thoroughly describe vagal AF. Learn more about how to evaluate your heart health and manage your heart condition at home by visiting upalife.com.